welcome to back to drinks up here you can see what we're doing right here yeah proper 12 proper number 12 bub you want to read the back of that then uh after he reads it i've been uh, my mouth has been watering for this drink all week so <clears throat> paying tribute to where it all began for me dublin 12 our master distiller and and i set out with one goal in mind to craft a proper Irish whiskey that is true to Ireland. We are honored to share this to share this with you and proud to donate to first responders for every bottle sold. You good on that? Yeah. And then I, my book, as you guys see I picked up the so in the introduction it says whiskey is an al is an alcoholic beverage that was most likely or orien originated <laughs> I didn't even drink it in Ireland, so it's uh Well I guess what? I need I need an eye. I think I got my case in that fucking bag right there, buddy. I ha honestly I haven't had trouble opening a bottle in a long time. I think there's a reason why I'm having trouble opening a bottle. Because, uh, yeah, what was that bottle? The, was it Highland Park that I struggled on our first episode? I think it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is bullshit, dude. Oh, let's wait. Oh, yeah. You know, you know what's next. He's got to smell this. Oh, my goodness. That is a wonderful, wonderful smell. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try it neat first. I love that sound. And uh, I'm gonna do this right here. Because uh, we got a special guest today. Guess who's back? I'm back, baby. All right, proper 12 Irish whiskey. Been gone for a while. Been gone for uh had to deal with some stuff. Lisa, no, I was a little, whoa, whoa, I'm out. I was out of camera. At least a few episodes. You're good now. It's not too many episodes. That was a lot. But hopefully like, he's back for a while. We'll see. <laughs> that is smooth smell. That is a very smooth smell. Honestly, well, you guys, you know I tried this one. Okay. This is better than that. What do you think? That is, that don't have, to me, that don't have a burn in the throat. That don't have a kick in the face. That is a nice, smooth, proper Irish whiskey. You know, I've only had two, but we're going to get into it. Oh, oh I got that. Ice cubes. I got that. It's all right. It's uh, some hand for the dice. Will you do me a favor? Get the big boy. Like the cabinet. Also, it's a numb feeling in your mouth. It's a little bit, a little bit, but that one right there really did. The Jameson. The Jameson. Oh, that is it's even better. Chill. I think after that ice melts, you got a nice hefty glass. And that ice melts down and waters down that uh, whiskey. It's got a pretty good smell to it, though. It's, it's a little stout. Amazing smell. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful bottle. Proper twelve. <laughs> it's been a while. You've been out, man. A while, so it's kind of. You've been out. It's kind of kicking my butt. We got a tradition. I got a tradition so far. We're on eight weeks. Don't you have that program on? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to use that for something. What is that? That is a uh, cherry moonshine that we put together. Oh, old Smokies cherry moonshine. I need a spoon. I see. He showed up to do this episode, and I got flustered on what I was supposed to have. Because last time I made sure everything was ready. Wow, oh, that is beautiful. I will say, smell that. You don't have to drink this. It's just something I do every 
Good Every episode God. now. Gotta have my cherry. Holy shit. It smells good. Mm, that's beautiful. I'm going tipsy again. That is beautiful. And very beautiful. Very, very wonderful cherry. So this is Conor McGregor's bottle, huh? Mm-hmm. Smooth blend with hints of vanilla, honey, and toasted wood. Now I'm gonna be honest, I can't taste the vanilla or the honey in it. The cherry, the cherry flavor tones the moonshine down, but it's still got. You wanna try it? I'm no. Good. Uh, I'll thanks, hold. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like look. Rich and smooth. Very aged four years in bourbon barrels. That's where that little bit of bourbon taste comes mm -hmm. from. I can get this moonshine taste out of my mouth. That's uh, it's a very good moonshine. Eight weeks. I'm not a big fan of the old smoky. Like the actual, like when it's fresh out the bottle, it's got too much of like a corn syrup. What do you think about that? <laughs> huh. Lily and Shelby got that for me down there, Tennessee. Tells you how fucked up you're gonna get. Yep. Yeah, and I plan on uh, Dipsy Buzz, Slosh, Pickled, Hammered, uh, Trashed, Wrecked, and Shine. I think on New Year's, I will do a whole shine. <whistles> right there. One, one hit. That'll be our uh, toast for New Year's. That's my goal. <laughs> I don't know how well I'll make it that way, but. Uh, so I think a lot of stuff's changed together. Yeah. A little, little, little bit of extra. 32 the, the bottles. The collection is definitely went up. <laughs> <laughs> some weeks I'll buy four, some weeks I'll buy two, and some weeks I won't have to buy any because I have extra. Like this weekend, I didn't buy any. Wait a minute. That's a lie. I bought these Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, but that's two weeks from now. We'll do a comparison on the those two, and we may just get the rest of the bourbons out and do. I'll, I'll do shots and shit if you don't want to. But uh, yeah, you missed a lot of good bourbons. I'm sure I did. A lot of. We added the scotches too. We still got one more scotch that will be next weekend. We added two rums. Well, <coughs> I think we added. I don't think you were here for the Patron. We added the nope. Patron. Um, yeah, like the countertops are nice. Trying to do a bar. Trying to upgrade and step up the level here. That drinks up. The prettier it looks, the more people want to watch it, right? Well, that's why I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's dirty. I can't help it. Really, I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is a good... Wait a minute, why, why are you... Let's put this up. Well, Whoops. this one, I didn't like this one compared to Proper 12. Now, the book has other... Other Irish whiskeys in it. Like I said before, I should have bookmarked everything. You can smell the honey and vanilla to it, but I couldn't taste it. Yeah, Jameson. Right here's Irish whiskeys in this book. You you can read that. Okay, Irish whiskeys. We've got Jameson. I don't want to incorrectly pronounce. Or longer it sits in the ice. It's a really good uh, flavor. Tyra Connell or something. Connell something like that. We got Writer's Tears, Tullamore Dew, and Redbreast. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to that. I don't know either. Like this one. Uh, Ardbeg. I finally can pronounce that. This one I cannot pronounce. Arbery Fildy? Aberfieldy. Aberfieldy? What one? And See? wouldn't it be like Aberfieldy? Because there's no I in it. Probably. 
Aberfeldy. No. It's Irish, isn't it? Scottish. Scottish. Oh, oh. oh no, no one's slaughtering me for that one. I know, <laughs> I know how they get. I know how they get about that. Roast me in the comments. So yeah. You ain't been watching any of the channel either, have you? I haven't watched a lot of it though. No. Trying to add. I mean, you weren't here for American Honey. Uh, I did the uh, Angel's Envy, Knob yeah. Creek, Crown, Maker's Mark. You weren't here for Squirrel, the Yellowstone, Soap. Four Roses, Stu War Star Ward, Johnny Walker, Ardbeg, Monkey Shoulder, Jameson, uh, Captain Morgan, Coconut Rum. You weren't. I don't think you were here for the White Rum. No. You weren't here for the Savaki. I did the aviation. I think you've done Christian Brothers Brandy with us. Nope. No, you weren't here for that one. You weren't here for Patron. Uh, and then I did that St. Germain, the aviation. I don't think we really have drank that. St. Germain? Yeah, we sipped it, right? We, we took like a shot. And that yeah. Was really but we're going to make a... Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's margarita-style drink with Patron. I think that's what I've seen. And if... I don't know. I can try that. I wouldn't mind getting some salt and stuff and give that a try. This is a nifty little book. Yeah, I skim through it every once in a while just to get some facts, but half the time I forget them so I don't say nothing. How do I arrange the tasting? Oh, okay. Which whiskeys go well with fish? Okay. Really? We're going, well, going into the book right now? I was just looking and I checked <laughs> it out. I mean, I do like me some fish. We know the cameraman likes salmon and is talking about smoked salmon right now. Hmm. What am I doing smoke no this a salmon play and What? Well, maybe next weekend we'll have dinner. Pretty neat. Show you guys what to how to cook a, a salmon play. A field guide to whiskey. An expert compendium to take your passion and knowledge to the next level. Hands offering it. I don't know when this bottle came. I don't know who that is. Assuming it's Scatterbirth book. But, you know. Well, I'll hmm. let you do the... And then you even got a little... Smoking kit. A little smoking kit. Oh. What? Wow. Have to do a little smoke whiskey next time? We we done that one four roses. You guys can check out that last video we done on that one. Hmm. Well, yeah, you want to do the signing off? The cheers and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Drinks up, everybody. Cheers. Health and happiness. Catch you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>